Here we are in section 1.4 exercises, part C, exam 1 review exercises, still reviewing for exam 1. The instructions here say divide. So this is going to be long division. Let's go ahead and do this. 7 goes into 4. No, it does not. 7 goes into 48. Ooh, not quite 7 times. 6 times. 6 times 7 is 42. Subtract that and we get 6. The 5 drops down, 65. 7 goes into 65 9 times. 9 times 7 is 63. Subtract and we get a 2. Where these were both uh, whole numbers that we were given, we could write the answer as 69 and 2 sevenths. But as the whole area is in decimals, my guess is that the answer is going to be in some decimals. So let's put a few out here and see what we get. Bring down the 0. Put the decimal right above the 69. Let's extend that line out so we have a little something to write on. Okay, 7 goes into 20 two times. 2 times 7 is 14. Subtract and we get 6. Drop down a 0. 7 goes into 60 8 times. 8 times 7 is 56. Subtract and we get a 4. Drop down another 0. 7 goes into 40 5 times. 5 times 7 is 35. Subtract and we get a 5. 0. Now if we just finished the, the fractions in numbers 20, if you just did number 26 a little while ago, you know that this repeats 2, 8, 5, 7, 1, 4, and it repeats the whole thing. Or if you wanted to stop right here and say 69.29, that's good. But 2 sevenths was turned into a fraction, just a, uh, in, 2 sevenths was turned into a decimal just a few moments ago. So let's check our answer. And there we have 69 and 2 sevenths, or 69.285714. And we could round here at the hundredths or at the thousandths. Uh, that isn't totally necessary, but it's nice to see that what we just did up here at number 26 is indeed the exact same thing. Good. Number 31. 3 goes into 7 twice. 2 times 3 is 6. Subtract, and we get 1. 3 goes, oh, drop down the 8. 3 goes into 18. 6 times, 6 times 3 is 18. Subtract and we get 0. Bring down the 1. 3 goes into 1, 0 times. 0 times 3 is 0 and of course subtracts to 1. So you could write that as 260 and 1 third. Or we could keep going on and bring down the 0, 3 goes into 10 three times. 3 times 3 is 9. Uh, subtract, and we get 1, 0. 3 goes into 10 three times. Yep, so we're going to get a repeater on that 3. 260.3 repeater. Let's double check our answer. Yep, 260 and 1 third, or 260.3 repeater. Good. Number 32. Ooh, 43. I'm not sure I know my 43 times tables really well. So I'm going to write up some multiples of 43 over here just to so we have them for reference. 43 uh, times 2 would be 86 times 3 would be 129. Add another 43 and we get 172. Add another 43 and we get 215. Add another 43 and we get 258, add another 43, and we get 301, and add another 43, and we get 344, and add another 43, and we get 387. I think that's up through nine of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good. Okay, so 43 goes into 67 once. And that's 43. Subtract. So now we have 67 minus 43 is 24. Bring down the 3. Uh, 243. It looks like this one right here. 5 gives us 215. And then we subtract and we get 28. So we can borrow and 13 minus 5 is 8 and then 3 minus 1 is 2. So better put a few zeros here to get 
to keep going. So you could write 15 and uh, 28 40 thirds. Let's do the decimals and keep going. 43 goes into 280. It looks like six times. That's this guy right here. Uh, six times that is 258. Subtract and we get 22. Drop down a zero. Uh, now it goes into it five times. That's 215. You subtract and we get five. Bring down a zero. Uh, 50. That goes into it one time. You know what? I think that's plenty. Let's use the one and, and round that appropriately. One makes it stay the same. So 15.65. And we know that it keeps going on forever and ever. So let's check our answer. 15 and 23. 43rd, 28 40 thirds. Or look, we could have kept going. Got a one and a one and a six and on and on. All righty. Uh, number 33. Point 0.5, ooh, this is one where we need to move the decimal that way and move the decimal that way to get a problem that has the same answer. 5 into 473.1. Okay, 5 into 47 goes 9 times. I like the 5 times tables. We got those. 45, subtract, and we get 2, drop down the 3, 23. 5 goes into 23 4 times. 4 times 5 is 20. Subtract that and we'll get a 3. Drop down the 1. 5 goes into 31 6 times. Remember we have the decimal straight above it. So 6 times 5 is 30. Subtract and we get 1. We're behind a decimal so it's not really appropriate to write this down as a as a remainder, so let's keep going on, put a zero there, see if we come out even. Five goes into ten, indeed two times, and it comes out, ta-da, even. So 94.62, let's check that answer. 94.62, good. Number 34, oh boy, another decimal one. Let's move it one, two, three, four places here, so we really have the problem Four going into, and we're going to move it one, two, three, four. So we get three zeros. Five, six, two, four, zero, zero, zero. Whew, this might be kind of a long one. Let's try it. Four goes into five once. Indeed, subtract it, and we get one, six. Four goes into 16. Four times. Four times four is 16. Subtract and we get zero. Bring down the two. Uh, four goes into two. It doesn't. Four times zero is zero. Subtract and we get the two. Now we can bring down the four. Four times uh, what gives us 24? Six. Good. Six times four is 24. Zero. Bring down another zero. Four goes into zero. Zero times. And it'll go in zero times again and zero times again until we exhaust all of our answers. So one four zero six zero zero zero. One million four hundred six thousand. Let's double check our answer. One million four hundred six thousand. Great.